What's up, fam? Farrell here doing his November in the Bag special Thanksgiving edition. Happy Thanksgiving to all you buggers. All right, first off, grip AX3. Because I'm afraid to change, apparently. I'll get to that AX4 eventually, probably after uh, winter. Start off with what's in my bag. Uh, hookup towel from Nate. I don't even know what that is. Red. Big red. Some kind of soda. Um, keep the sanding block. I keep those edges smooth. And two different birdie bags. I keep this one. That's pretty minor. Um, chalk to it or uh, sawdust to it. And I also keep the birdie bag that has a ton of sawdust in it. Um, I think that's it. I gotta get a marker. Yeah, that's it. Oh, the mini. Throw pink. Uh, okay, so putting putters. I'm carrying three right now. Um, one of the one of these taco too bad for me to continue to putt with it, so I took it out and put another one in. I got three XL hard links with the Dismania Little Wing stamp. Um, they're all the American flag foil. It's probably my favorite foil out there. Uh, they all uh, 176, 175, 175. So pretty similar in weights. Uh, just really good straight putters, good glide on them. I love the tackiness, love the stiffness. So continue to putt with those. Um, and the throwing putters, this is a super specific disc, shot kind of disc. Um, Kind of something I don't want to jump at. I'll pull this out and you know throw a putt at with it. Uh, shorter drives where you kind of need a quick, you know, hyzer flip to flat or hyzer flip ante. Uh, this is pretty good. Uh, I got the ace with it last month out of CR, so it's a good disc. <clears throat> and then the other throwing putters. Uh, I guess I only have two right now. So I keep another XO hard link for throwing. Um, this one's 173. These things are really good off the tee, actually. I got uh, two aces in one day. So I'm going to continue to throw these. Uh, if I can get my hands on a Lux link, definitely replace this. Or if they ever come out with like a Neo type link, I would go for that. But for now, I'm going to keep throwing the XO hard link. And they're cheap, so like this winter, if I lose one or break it, it's not a big deal. Um, next, another hookup from Nate. We got the Dismania Active Line Sensei in the premium plastic. Pretty sweet, uh, shattered gold. I don't really know what to call this foil, but it's pretty sick. Um, sweet flat profile, feels really good in the hand. It's more stable than the uh, Link, but it's not like over stable BP, just stable, and you know, you're gonna get that reliable finish to the left. Uh, good anti flex approach shots too with this. Speaking of approaches, I also carry the uh, Dismania XO Hard Tactic. This one's 174. It's got the rainbow foil little wing stamp on it. Uh, super flat. Again, I switched to this because the vapor plastic just wasn't doing it for me uh, in this mold. But I'm going to be real with you guys, and I'm kind of regretting it because this one tacoed a little bit when we were out of Acres the other day. So, probably going to have to replace this one too. Um, so I might be on the lookout for a uh, razor claw again. Uh, get into the mids. I bag five mids. Um, I got the Burnsboro stamp, um, C line MD3. It's 177 grams. I got this used, uh, I believe it's a 5502 run. It's, it's, it's really understable. Um, it's nothing like the 180s or the crowned eagles or the claws or a regular stock uh, C-Line MD3. So uh, I like it. Longer, straighter shots or, you know, really long turnovers. This this is a disc for that. Um, I carry a regular 5502 uh, C-Line MD3. It's, you know, kind of a blur pole with the green foil. I love the look of it. Um, this one's probably my most stable of my MD3s. Flies more like a Rock 3, honestly, but I like it. It's good. Uh, good glide. Good fade. So, staying in the bag. Uh, then the other MD3. 
the Crowned Eagle Color Glow MD3. This one is 177 grams. I uh, kind of just filled that spot after I aced with the other Crowned Eagle. Just fit in my bag perfect. And it's got the black stamp, which is pretty sick. So I know Nate throws one. I got Bill into him, so just waiting for Aaron to get one now. It's just like your shark, man. Um, then my super straight, super duper straight KC Pro flat top rock with the uh, rock head stamp on it. Um, super flat, super straight. The only problem I found is if you approach that straight hole that you always throw this on and there's headwind, forget about it because this thing will turn over in a heartbeat into headwind. Uh, it just doesn't have the stability of a normal rock. I don't know if that's being flat or KC or what, but <clears throat> it's still great. Hole 13 at Porcupine. I love this disc for that. So, staying in the bag for now. Unless I get a P-Line MD3. Um, and then my beef. Champion Gator 3. Big stamp. 175. Uh, embossed. This thing's straight beef. I love, you know, backhand hyzers. Uh, forehands. It's just a great all-around utility disc. So, unless I find a flatter MD5, I don't see myself getting rid of this one. So, um... We'll get into, yeah, we'll call fairway drivers, seven, eight, and nine. So I get quite a few of that speed range. Um, so we go first off, the Nate Perkins Color Glow Night Strike 2. Uh, this one's 175 embossed. Love the profile. More beef than the Night Strike 1, but... I kind of like it for that. I can really rip into this and I don't have to worry about it turning over. So, you know, I can push this further. Those 325, 350 shots, this works pretty good. So, that's staying in the bag. Um, and speed 8, I got the Discmania Neo Essence. Uh, this one is 174 embossed, which I believe is max weight. Uh, it's kind of silver foil, which I don't really care for, but the disc is money. Highs are flip turnover glide forever kind of disc zero effort this thing this thing absolutely bombs so like hole two at porcupine this thing's absolutely money um and nate you really should throw one instead of keep trying to sell it um the other nine i'll absolutely love this thing i don't know if i can find a disc mania disc to replace this but this is the 2020 jeremy Colling star thunderbird super swirly it's got a sweet halo in it uh, red shatter foil stamp, wicked flat profile. Um, this thing's money. I just rip into it flat and it stays flat forever. <clears throat> a little bit of hyzer, uh, a little bit of you know hyzer finish, but compensate with a little bit of an anti start, and this thing just goes in a straight line for forever. Um, then the new one I just got traded to Aaron. The uh, Dana Vici Rolling Thunder 1. Swirly S-Line CD2. I honestly thought this would have a little more understability to it, but it flies just like my Thunderbird, to be completely honest with you. But like having it in the bag, it's not bad having two of the, you know, two discs that do the same thing. So that one's staying in the bag. Maybe it'll break in, get a little flippy at some point. Um... And we'll get into the forehand disc. So this Color Glow FD3 has been in my bag for a few months. It's embossed 173.5, pretty flat profile, slight dome. Um, it's really good for forehands, but it's definitely not as overstable as I thought it was going to be. So I started backhanding it, and I can shape really, really good shots with this thing. So um, staying in the bag. Um, really good anti-flex and you can just trust it to finish left it's not going to die out on you in the ante so that one will stay in the bag <clears throat> um i put a newer one in the bag same thing color glow fd3 embossed 173.5 um and you can tell the difference between one that's been used for a few months and one that's brand new this is definitely more overstable so this is like a strictly forehand disc or longer hyzer shot so same profile same everything as the as the first one and then, I don't know if I'm going to be able to replace this one. It's 2018 
um, Nate Sexton colored will firebird you know it's got the red stamp on it. it's beautiful it's flat it's beef it's just a money forehand disc um, Backhand too, you know, if you've got a ton of headwind, speed nine is pretty controllable, so I really like throwing this thing. Um, I don't know. I don't know if this maybe makes anything that could replace that. Um, we're getting the distance drivers. So, currently bagging two destroyers. We've got the old trusty dusty 168 gram embossed, huck dyed bottom stamp um, 168 destroyer um, this thing's still pretty beefy really good really really good forehand disc um, backhand shots if you have headwind uh, pretty flat profile so I like this thing it looks sick it's another hookup from Nate thank you Nate and then brand spanking new uh, hookup from Bill 175 Star DS three line AJ. Uh, this thing is a little beefier than the AJ's I'm used to, but I think if I keep using it, it'll break into the point where I want it to be. Um, and I'm super selective when I throw this. I don't want to lose it. I don't want to damage it too bad. So it's kind of like a strictly field shot disc right now because I know Bill paid a lot of money for this. So thank you, Bill. <clears throat> um, next. Kind of in line with the destroyers, uh, S line DD3 175 embossed. This one was a hookup from Nate. Um, not as beefy as the uh, destroyer, but it still has some good stability to it. Uh, it's a bomber. I don't expect an S turn out of this anytime soon, but you know, just throwing it flat, letting it ride. Uh, it goes pretty good, reliable left finish. Probably gonna start forehanding this a little more too. So. Great feel too. Plastic's beautiful. And then this is a bomber. Uh, Dismania Evolution Enigma uh, Special Edition. It's got some sweet swirls in it or bursts, whatever you want to call that. Uh, blue foil. This one is 173, and I can hide a flip flat, flat to Annie. You know this thing. This thing goes pretty good. Uh, it's a it's a really sweet disc. Feels good. Looks good. Uh, pretty solid flight numbers on it. It's pretty true to the flight numbers, so I like throwing that a lot. And then the Long Bomber, which is starting to get a little flippy on me. The uh, USDGC Doubles Metal Flake Colossus. That was another hookup from Nate. Got the artwork from Sarah on it. Um, it was my longest bomber for a while. I don't know what I did to it, but if I start ripping into it the same way I used to, it goes Annie straight to the ground, so... I need to adjust my angle of release on this thing to get it to fly the way I want to, but it's going to stay in the bag and I keep using it. I got a couple backups, so I might cycle one of those in. But, uh, yeah, that's everything in my bag, guys. So, uh, happy Thanksgiving. Look forward to seeing everyone's in the bag.